Good morning, afternoon, and you guys are back another random J list today doing Super Smash Brothers, six games in this franchise, talking about these video games. Uh, been around since the 90s on the Nintendo 64, and we're going to start with that one. We got a basic tier list here of S to F tier, and I'm going to tell you right now, none of these games are bad. Uh, some of them may not have aged as well as others, but none of them are bad, so we just honestly will not be using this F tier here. We can go ahead and get rid of that. Um, first up, we have the original Nintendo 64 Super Smash Brothers. As we may remember, the cat tagline for that, Duke It Out. Um, this game obviously started the franchise, so it's always hard when you rank an old game like that that has so much nostalgia, so much relevance uh, to you know not only the, the game series itself, but the genre and Nintendo as a whole, right? I mean, I bought a, a GameCube to get Super Smash Bros. Melee, or at least I think so. I don't know, I was like eight, but... Like, Super Smash Bros. is a key, key, key game in the Nintendo series. Um, so, B tier, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and put that in B tier, is what I'm trying to say here. Um, by, by these other game standards, it may be C tier. Um, but it's just so nostalgic and it's so important to the series that we're going to go ahead and put in B. Melee, I'm going to put in S. Now, that might, that might upset a couple, some people who are... Um, you know, real fans of the new games, but I think Melee really just just blew the original out of the water, um, and it basically established that this was a franchise that was around to stay. There's a reason that Super Smash Bros. Melee is almost as popular right now as the newer games, at least in tournaments and whatnot. Um, there are still tournaments going on for all of these games, but Melee is, there's a reason that that is basically the premier game, even to this day, um, other than, I, I suppose, the, the modern, you know, ultimate. S tier on Melee, so much replayability, so much added to the game. They continued to build on that in the other games, but um, Melee was the one that made the biggest jump, I, I, I do believe. I, I think I'd say that. Super Smash Bros. Brawl was interesting. Brawl added, I believe it added the finishers, right? Um, and it added some really, really interesting characters. Um, I don't know, I, I, it might just be because I didn't play it as much, and, and that's unfair. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the C tier. I just don't think it added as much as a lot of these other games did. You know what? B tier. If we put the original in B, we can put Brawl in B. I, th I think B is fine for Brawl. Brawl add a lot that we kind of take for granted in these games. Um, Melee really need some flesh needed some fleshing out in some uh, regards, and Brawl did that. Um, but it just didn't do as much as Melee did. So the upgrade from Melee over 64 was just more, um, in my opinion. Brawl, B tier. Um, some people that are die hard on um, Super Smash Bros. can probably tell me more. Um, definitely let me know. I don't think we'll need D tier for this. Uh, Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U are up next. I'm going to go ahead and put both of these games into A tier. There is obviously some argument you can made, be made on the, the input that you're using, right? Like the 3DS may just not be the best input for Super Smash Bros., for example. And the Wii U being a... Fail cons a failed console might be a little extreme, but it obviously wasn't as popular as the Wii. Um, so these games had problems from their consoles, but I think they added so many characters. They added a lot uh, with a better storyline and stuff that um, that it really built on Brawl in a good way. And I think it prepared the series. We, actually, we had a branch here where there were some characters that were in the 3DS game and not in the Wii U game, which was interesting. Um, I think it prepared the series for the years to come. And the years to come were Ultimate. Ultimate, I'm going to put in S tier. It added every playable character of all time. That alone was awesome. The DLCs were great. Uh, depending on your opinion of DLCs, I think they're pretty much the norm now. And when you're adding actual content with the DLCs, not just skins, I think that's awesome that you're adding new playable characters. Ultimate has so much online features and replayability and just so many different things you can do in the game. Going to go ahead and put that in S tier, and I do think that's where it belongs. That's it, guys. Only six games in this series. How did I do? What do you think about these games? Let me know down in the comment section. If there's another video you'd like me to do or something you want to let me know, let me da know down there as well. And with all that said, guys, thank you for watching. This has been The Guy That Makes Random Tier Lists, and I'm signing out.